teacher Mary. Hi, teacher Nikki. And hi there, Malaika. Hi. Thank you for joining me in Bible class today. It's a pleasure. Now, I'd like to see who else is joining us today. Mm. I'm going to have a look and see who's here. I see you, Malaika. <laughs> Welcome, Malaika. And I see teacher Mary. Hi. Hi. And of course, <laughs> I see a special somebody, and that is you. you. Welcome, boys and girls. And thank you for joining me in Bible class today. I'm so excited to be here with each and every one of you. Now first, we have to sing our Bible class song. That's one of my favorite songs to sing with you. And we need TikTok the clock to sing that. You ready? Let's sing. TikTok says the clock, we're glad that you are here. TikTok says the clock, God is very near. Tick tock says the clock, it's time for Bible class. Tick tock says the clock to love and learn and laugh. Yay! Well done. Now, Teacher Mary, I remembered to read my Bible this week. You know why? Why? Because I remember to sing the Bible word song. Ooh. Now, I want to sing that song with you guys. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ready? Let's sing. Bible words, Bible words, thank you God for Bible words, it's the truth for all to read, thank you God for Bible words, yay! Well done boys and girls, now we are going to hear an exciting story from the Bible. Mm. I hope you guys are ready to hear. Remember to keep your ears open and keep quiet and enjoy. Bye. Hi there boys and girls. I want to tell you a story today about one of my favorite characters in the Bible. Once upon a time, there was a young boy and he and his family had sheep and goats because they were farmers. And do you know what he did as part of his family? He didn't have to wash the dishes. That wasn't his chores. He had to look after the sheep. And so he used to go out early in the morning and take the sheep to find green pastures and he would watch over them to make sure that they were safe. And then he would bring them home at night and he would count them carefully to make sure that all of the sheep were there. There. And while he was watching the sheep, he did something that you and I need to do. He looked up at the sky and he thought about God who created the heavens and the earth and the God who created the sheep and him. And he had a heart of worship. He used to pray to God. He used to sing songs to God. And he got a harp. Maybe you've tried to make a harp before. It's an instrument with strings, a little bit like a guitar. He made a harp so that he could praise and sing worship songs to God. He had a heart of worship. And his name was David. And one day, something interesting happened. His brothers came to call him and they said, Dad says you've got to come really quickly because the prophet Samuel has come to visit us. And everybody knew that the prophet Samuel worked in the temple and the prophet Samuel heard from God. And so David went with his brother to the feast that they were having at home and he could see that all his brothers were sitting around. They were bigger and taller than him and they were all frowning. And he turned to his younger brother and he said, why are they all looking so cross? And his brother said, the Samuel told dad that he was going to anoint a king and it was going to be one of, one of us. And all of our big brothers, Samuel said, it's not them. And so David got to the front and stood in front of Samuel the prophet, who was big and tall and strong and dressed in his long white robes as a priest who worked in God's temple. And Samuel looked down at him and Samuel smiled and he said to David, God has seen your heart of worship and he loves the way that you worship him and praise him and take care of the sheep. And because of that, God wants to anoint you to be a very special kind of shepherd. He wants you to be the king who leads 
all of the people in Israel because you've got a heart of worship and you will look after the people just like you look after your sheep. And then he took some special oil, anointing oil, and he put it on David's forehead to show that he had anointed him to be the king one day. What an amazing day that must have been. And an interesting thing happened is that David had to wait quite a long time to grow up before he finally got to be king. And during that time, while he was growing up, he had to remember to keep the important things like a heart for worship and a care for people. And do you know what he did to help us understand that? David wrote down his songs, and they've got a special name when they're songs in the Bible. They are called Psalms. And so when you have a look in the Bible, you'll see there's a whole book of Psalms. There's a whole lot of them in the Bible, 150 Psalms. And David, King David, wrote nearly half of the Psalms. One of the Psalms that lots of people know about is Psalm 23. And in Psalm 23, David wrote, The Lord is my shepherd. He is the one who leads me. Just like David had led his sheep in safe places where they could find green grass, David showed us that God is like a good shepherd who helps us find what we need, places to rest, good food to eat, and that God is the one who protects us just like a shepherd protects his sheep. And so I want you to ask your mom and dad or maybe your kids' church teacher to read Psalm 23 with you and have a look at how David had a heart to worship God and how David showed us what it means to be a good shepherd. We need to be just like David and have a heart of worship. Welcome back, boys and girls. I really hope you enjoyed your story time today. Teacher Nikki, did you enjoy today's story? I really did. Yeah, and what about you, Malaika? Yeah. That's good. In today's story, we focused on David, and David loved to worship God. In fact, David was known for writing 73 of the Psalms in the Bible. Wow, 73 is a lot. I know. But Teacher Mary, what what is a psalm? Oh, a psalm is like a song that you can either say or sing. Wow. Now, Teacher Mary, I know that you play a few instruments. Mm -hmm. What instruments do you play? Oh, I play the piano and I'm learning to play the ukulele. I would love to learn how to play the piano one day. Mm. Malaika, what instrument would you like to learn one day? Wow. Wow. Malaika says she would love to learn how to play guitar one day. Aww. Yeah. Now, Teacher Mary, I know that you know of a lot more instruments. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about them? Sure. Hmm. So there are lots of different instruments. There are drums and trumpets mm -hmm. and violins and piano. And there's a harp and a flute and a xylophone, and there's even maracas, which are like shakers. Yeah. How cool is that? Gee, that was a nice list of instruments. Mm -hmm. Which one was your favorite, boys and girls? I, again, like the piano one. Mm, me too. Yeah. Now, Teacher Mary, remember, we need to worship God with all our heart. Mm -hmm. And even if we don't have an instrument, we can always use our voice mm -hmm. or our hands. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Until next time, bye. Bye.